don't know. I liked how I did my makeup today. And I felt like I should put it to good use by putting it in a video. <laughs> Hey YouTube, what's up? It's me, Michaela, and I just kind of felt like I'm at home and wanted to make just kind of like a random last minute, totally last minute video because today is February 29th and that means it's the last day of February. I'm going to do a February faves video because I've never done a favorite video. I actually made a list really quickly of a couple of things I'm going to rattle off. And maybe I'll insert pictures or something if I'm like super ambitious, considering it's seven o'clock on the last day of February. I broke it down into some categories of faves. So the first quick one is beauty faves. And I don't have them with me to show you what they actually are. We'll not start with that then. So we'll start, <laughs> we'll start with my fave music I've been listening to this month. I named just a few artists that I've been listening to like the entire month on repeat. Zico, Ziaco, Kiara. That one's on gold, heavily influenced mainly because of One Million Dance Studios choreograph, choreography, I can't talk, <laughs> of that they did to that song. Hey, 21 Pilots, I'm not a huge fan of the new album, but I do like Doubt and Polarize from that album, so that's okay. The Deer Hunter, I don't really listen to them a whole lot, only when I'm in the car with my friend Amanda, because <laughs> this month she played them a lot. There's like seven CDs that she gave me of them, I think, that I need to take the time to listen to. But I like them a lot. They're good. They got a good sound. I highly 10 out of 10 recommend. So those are the music um, artists I've been listening to a lot this month. Had the time. Uh, my grandma's calling. Hold on a second. It's her ringtone. Isn't that hilarious? Forget. <laughs> my light is my laptop right now. So another thing that's my favorite is I don't watch a lot of TV, but there are like Two shows I will like religiously watch. Some others I can watch when I have the time. So, Teen Wolf, uh, <laughs> if you're my friend in real life or you follow me on Twitter, you sure as hell know that I used to watch that. I, I mean, I do watch it religiously, but I used to live tweet also as I watched it, like a lot. <laughs> I totally, I love, love Teen Wolf. Teen Wolf is my everything. <laughs> T Pose, and then. T. Hecklin and Dylan O'Brien, so many great people. I just, I can't. I kind of hate to admit that I still watch this religiously because I kind of hate it, but like I have to watch it. Pretty Little Liars, I, I watch that also because they're both on on the same day. And uh, yeah, so that's a thing. Suits, um, that's kind of more of a show that like my family watches. So if they're like sitting out there watching it, I watch it with them. I've seen the majority of it, or at least a good amount of it, to like know the characters and everything. And it's kind of like a show I don't have to keep bleh, bleh, continually like keep up with. Like I can kind of like jump in and be like, oh, so this is what's happening? Okay, cool. And of course, The Walking Dead. <laughs> um, another show I haven't really like fully committed to but enough to the point where like, Glenn is my fave, Daryl is my fave, I swear to God if they die or some shit. I haven't watched last week's, I don't know, that's the thing. I'll go weeks without watching and don't know what happens. Unless, you know, I see it online or something and it's ruined for me, but uh, they're my faves and I love them and will be very upset something happens to them. Watched, you know, the first episode of this up latest season and was screaming the whole time pretty much and my family absolutely hated it and they're like, wow, we're never gonna watch this with you again. <laughs> so, that's a thing. I get very into shows and movies so, you know, just that's a trait of me. The next subject I have is just things because some of them are items, some of them are just things that happened that I just have been so happy that happened or kind of dumb. First, things I guess are kind of more like events or app related things. I don't know. Things also I don't know whether they happened in February but I've mostly been using them since whenever they happened but Whatever. The fact that now Instagram has the setting where you can link accounts, that happening made me super dope. Super dope? <laughs> what? Made me super stoked because I have maybe three Instagram accounts. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I don't have to continually like log out and log back in anymore. So happy. Um, so prime. Golden. Uh, stay golden, pony boy. <laughs> okay. Second thing. The Snapchat um, updates with the face swap is hysterical. Look at this picture of my mom and I. We look creepy as heck, but it's hilarious because everyone says we look alike. And when I look at this picture, if you compare it to my grandma, we just look like her. So it's 
it's just, it's funny. Another thing that happened on the internet was Damn Daniel, and I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was funny in the beginning, and I still kinda do. I might joke around with my family about it, but then, you know, my family will kill it by saying, Damn Michaela, and I'm like, it's not, it's not the joke, you're ruining it, please shut up. <laughs> It's not the same. I anyway, mean, I actually thought that was funny. Like, Stussy man, damn! I don't know. I just, I thought it was funny. It got ruined. I mean, the kid, now he gets a lifetime supply of vans. Like, shout out to your friend Josh. Not, you know, like, whatever. Did that make any sense? I have no idea. Another important thing that just happened yesterday was Leonardo finally won an Oscar! Oh my god, I was like screaming. I was so happy. There's no way he wasn't gonna win. Like, it was finally his time. He deserved it. I was tweeting about it. Be like 20 minutes beforehand is when I started watching it. So thank God I did when I did. Cause literally like watching like the ball drop or like New Year's Eve, like that's how it felt. Like that moment when they said his name and it was like, ah, like celebration. Other things are actual items. Yeah, I'm back and I ran and got the things. This is the first thing. Um, it is my Samsung level on uh, headphones. I got these for Christmas. So happy. I never have ever owned a pair of over the ear headphones and these are Bluetooth and they come with a cord. And they have a touch panel on the side, so it's like not hands-free, but it's cool stuff. And then to sync it to my phone, because I have a Samsung phone, all you do is you literally hold the phone next to this side and it just does it magically. I don't even know, it's crazy. <laughs> um, so, these have been a favorite. Continuing on with this Bluetooth um, theme, I have a Bluetooth speaker that I got for Christmas, um, right here. And let me tell you, it's bumping, it's pretty loud, it's awesome, it's the iLive, I'm not really sure where it comes from, it's a Christmas gift, I love it, I've been using it with my other favorite item, I have always had for like four years, but forgot to use, it's my iPad, um, I got this when I first started school and I don't know, I use this to play Pandora and hook it to my Bluetooth and that way I'm not distracted when I'm on my laptop, so tips and tricks for you kids if you ever are like me and get super distracted by the internet. <laughs> so the last uh, just thing to kind of go with this theme of music is my BTS album because not only do I just find it like beautiful as a musically, but the art of the photo book is my inspiration for my own portfolio book that I'm making. Um, cause it's gonna be like a deluxe CD portfolio, blah blah blah, art school things. That's what I'm gonna do for my, um, spring show. On to my last kind of, um, segment is beauty things. I gathered a couple of them. Um, one you already know, uh, it's my Smashbox full exposure palette. I did a video, I'll put the link in the description. Also, lately, new mascara finally, it's been way too long, um, my other one was way clumpy. I got the new Maybelline Sen Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect in waterproof. And I have it on today, and it's doing its job. Then I did a repurchase that I haven't gotten in a long, long time. It's the Maybelline Line Stiletto Liquid Eyeliner um, Felt Pen thing. But I haven't used it in a really long time. I used it today, and I was like, holy shit, I forgot how to do this. And so it's kind of dramatic, but I like it, so it's okay. It stayed on a lot better than my normal eyeliner, so I'm digging that. I've been, for the past months, this whole new year, I'm like, I'm gonna get on like a skincare routine pronto tanto because <laughs> my chin area is pretty bad and whatever. I don't need to go in depth about it. I'll make another video about that maybe because I don't really have super bad skin until you look at it really up close. I got this white clay deep cleansing foam um, it's like this Korean brand called Cleansing Story, and it's super nice. It helps remove sebum within deep uh, pores. The white clay pacifies your sensitive skin and makes your skin elastic and moist, which it does. And on top of that, I've also gotten into skin masks. Skin masks. <laughs> Face masks. This is one I've been hoarding because I've had this for a long, long time. This is so cute. Um, this had two. I used one before and it was really nice. So I've been like holding off on using this one until I can buy more of them. <laughs> Carbonated clay mask is what I'm gonna order next and I'm just really excited because I feel like that's gonna really help my skin, blah, blah, blah. But those are the things that I own that I've been really getting into lately is just taking care of my skin and my face and everything because I'm getting old. I'm not, I'm 21, but you know, your skin ages. So just saying, take care of it while you're young, kids. This has been my February faves as it's like a vlog version. My arm's really tired, as I was trying to say, and I got cut off because my battery died. So, if you like this video, please give it a like. I will do more favorites. Comment down below if you have any recommendations or liked anything that I talked about. Um, my arm's so tired. So that's all. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a beautiful night, even day, whenever you're watching this with your beautiful eyeballs, and I will see you next time. Bye!